Hey everyone, I'm Tori and welcome back to my channel. I am still in Puerto Rico and I was making my way to my next adventure when I came across this beautiful view. Finding hidden gems like this are one of my favorite things about traveling and in particular road trips. Yes, I still have my red Mustang convertible upgrade and I guess I probably still owe you a story behind that, but you may be wondering where am I headed to next? Well, follow along and see. driving up and down these mountains in Puerto Rico and it's astounding to me all the different types of landscapes from the waterfalls to the rivers and, and streams but something that was really interesting to me was the bamboo let me show you for some reason I did not realize that Puerto Rico had so much bamboo at this waterfall um, I honestly don't know if it's the right spot I was thinking that there would be more cars parked here or at least a parking spot it was a pretty popular place on Instagram there is one car here uh, they have their hazards on so I think I might go out and explore and hopefully I can find this waterfall I wasn't quite sure where to go but these steps Look pretty promising. Before I get much further up, I want to show you guys a panoramic of this place because it's something out of a movie. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're back in the car and that's what I would call a super successful adventure stop. The waterfalls definitely did not disappoint and the little waterfalls on the way up to here were definitely a, a fantastic treat. Next up is driving about an hour and 20 minutes north to Vega Baja for our next adventure. to Vega Baja with plenty of time way ahead of my schedule so I got some gas my car is saying that it's gonna shut off in 24 seconds because I've been sitting here for a while in this Walgreens parking lot So you may be asking, why are you sitting in your car in a Walgreens parking lot? Well, tonight I'll be staying at a campground. And last night 
I didn't realize that there were outlets until it was too late. So I need to recharge all of my electronics. So here I am, Walgreens parking lot, waiting for my electronics to recharge. While I wait for everything to charge up, I figured I'd tell you the story. It's a quick story about how I ended up in this red Ford Mustang convertible, my dream car. After flying for more than 24 hours, I got off the plane at the Puerto Rico International Airport. I went through the PCR test check line and finally made it to the rental place. I was pretty tired because two days earlier I had just gotten my COVID shot and I was getting everything prepared for being gone for a significant amount of time at work. So I was, I was pretty tired by the time I got to the rental car checkout line. So I walk in the rental car area and the service that I was using actually had no people at the front desk. And I was freaking out because my flight was actually pushed back a couple hours. So I was so concerned that the counter had closed. I walk up to the counter and there was a sign saying to go to their other desk. So, whew, that one was clear. Move to the second desk, make it to the front. The guy says, we're out of standard cars. Short pause, my heart is racing again. And he says, but we have this convertible that you can drive for no extra charge if you want it. I was like, hell yes. Now, if you know anything about me or you know me personally, you know that I am not the greatest driver. I also haven't driven on the right side of the road in probably three and a half years. I don't currently have a car in Bahrain. And prior to that, I lived in Japan where they drive on the left side of the road. That being said, I paid for all the insurance and it's been worth every single penny just for my sanity. So here I am driving my dream car for my 12 day vacation in Puerto Rico. This already is the coolest Airbnb I have ever stayed at. I've been walking for about a minute and a half. I used two sets of ropes to get up the mountain and now I'm going through a little cave. I came from down there and I'm going up there. So cool. And here we are. Home sweet home for the night. Before I get settled in for the evening, I want to give you a tour of my crib for tonight. That's the rope that you use as a guide rail all the way down to the cave. They have a really adorable swing, which is consistent with this entire place, the boho, homey, natural feel. They have two chairs and 
I paid a little extra for some wood on the fire. It's all ready to go. In all honesty, I probably, I probably could have done this myself, but um, you don't always know what to expect, but it has wood, has kindling with the leaves and the thin twigs, so it should start pretty easily. And then this wood looks pretty dry already as well. Um, it has been raining here, so that is something to be cognizant about. And I also brought a few of the containers from the food I brought, just some cardboard to help start the fire. Unfortunately, the view is of the road, but just beyond the road, if you can look past that and the noise, you see the stunning mountain range of Puerto Rico. And it looks like just to the right of that, you'll see the sunset. I'm unsure, I guess that means that the sunrise will be on the other side and we'll miss that. Wow. So it has the natural roots hanging down, which is stunning. They have a hammock. And then my bed for the night. Oh, nice, they have some fire starters, so that'll be helpful too, but this is exciting. This incredible land is owned by Maria Nela and Kenneth, a couple that's absolutely lovely who have dedicated their life to climbing and being climbing guides and teaching and educating and helping other people fall in love with the sport that they love. This whole place really came to be after the 2017 Hurricane Maria here in Puerto Rico. The couple actually ended up leaving their home here in Vega Baja and moved in with some friends and allowed other people to stay in their homes while they were a little further away. And when they finally were able to come back home, they found that their backyard was completely different than they had left it. And unfortunately, many of their favorite climbing routes were no longer there. But then upon looking further, they found that they had fantastic opportunities to create new climbing routes for every skill level from beginner to expert in their very own backyard. And that's where this whole thing started. Now the couple has 36 roots and teaches children as young as three years old. And I'm so excited to take my lesson with them tomorrow morning. Now before the sun goes down, I wanna tell you a little bit more about this cave. Prior to Hurricane Maria, this cave was covered with foliage and they didn't really know that it was here. Upon further exploration, they found this and so many more fantastic artifacts. I was told in this very cave, they found pottery and bones from the food that the natives here had eaten. And what was really interesting was the bones were actually from open water. So you could tell that the people who lived in these caves before had traveled via waterways to get their food. Additionally, they found some things that were used in traditions and rituals, which makes this place really, really special. And I'm really, really thankful that this couple has opened up their land and allowed other people like myself to experience this, this piece of tradition and this piece of history and really understand and get a little insight into how people had lived so many years ago. And as awful as Hurricane Maria was, it's wonderful to see people coming out of such adversity and making it into something truly beautiful. So I totally take what I said back. The extra money for the fire was totally worth it because they included this Dura Flame, which is going to help me start this fire.
Good morning everyone coming from my cave house. I slept great last night and I was lucky enough to wake up to the natural sunlight and the birds chirping around me. There's honestly a few things better. This tent comes outfitted with a large air mattress that can definitely fit too. I mean, I'm only 5'4", and I'm laying halfway down the mattress, so there's plenty of room. And then the top of the tent is mesh, so you can see the cave all around you. There's also a little opening to the sky, so you can see the stars at night. It's just a little reminder of where you are and the nature that surrounds you. Since I technically slept in a natural climbing gym last night, it's only fitting for me to take a climbing class today. I'm going to head back to the base camp area. It's about a five minute walk through that cave, down some of those inclines with the rope handlebars, and wash up and get ready for the class. Heading back, we are going to go up the ropes. And then we go back down the cave. I'm going to put the camera away. I just, I don't wanna drop you, my friend. And then it, you go down. just left Roca Norte and the climb experience was so fun. I've never climbed actual rocks before. I've been to a climbing gym here or there for a birthday party growing up, but truly never actually rock climbed. The owners walked me through it. I was the only one for the morning session and my arms are so tired. Something that I learned that was super interesting about these rock walls were, are that they're made of limestone and they were originally carved out when Puerto Rico was underwater. Then it was further explained to me that the holes in the limestone which we use to put our feet and our hands to climb the wall were created when it rains and the acidity of the rain washes away the limestone after millions of years. And the rock itself is approximately 30 million years old. Insane. When you're climbing up, you'll notice there are fossils in some of the holes. And it, it was really cool seeing all the different shells so far away from the ocean. And right by Rucco Norte, there are a ton of really cool restaurants and this stunning beach. insane right now when I pulled into one of the parking areas they said that I couldn't swim at that beach because there were 20 foot swells so I drove down a little bit further got some free parking and definitely going to take their recommendation because these waves are insane all in all I cannot recommend Roca Norte enough it was an amazing experience through and through from being greeted when I pulled in to the cooking facilities, the thoughtfulness of the 
sleeping arrangements and the tents and the different campsites and even more importantly the owners and their story and their gratitude and their purpose to bring climbing here to Puerto Rico and to people of all ages. I'll leave a link in the description bar below to their Airbnb so if you're ever in Puerto Rico definitely check it out. But that's all for me for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you next time.